you to be obedient to the Holy Ghost. <laughs> um, so this last week I was at the park with my kids, and because um, it was a nice day, we've been having awesome weather. Thank you, Father. Um, and there was a homeless man there, and you know, in my mind, and, and the Holy Spirit highlighted the, him to me, and said minister to him. And I only had a certain amount of time to be there with my kids, you know, and spend quality time for my kids, and then I had to go to take my daughter to preschool. And, but I decided, okay, you know, okay, Lord, I'm gonna obey. And so this homeless man was sitting there and he was, he was like messing with his toe. There was something wrong with his toe. And I knew, you know, he had some kind of something. Something wasn't right. And I knew uh, that I needed to pray for him. And um, so I asked him, I said, I said, hey, I said, what's going on with your toe? I, can I pray for you? And he's, he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't really remember what he said, something. But um, <laughs> like, okay. And I said, there, is there anything specific that I can pray for you for? And he said, yeah, peace. Wow. <laughs> so I said, okay, you know, and I, I prayed for him. And, you know, the Lord shows up as he does every time, yeah, you know, yeah. every time and led him to the Lord, and it was awesome. You know, it's so cool, though, because I realized, and it was just, you know, he knew, you know, we have that peace. We have peace. We have what the world needs, yeah. you know? And that man knew. He knew where peace came from. So at some point in his life before he would maybe been saved, or uh, who knows, but <clears throat> we have what they need. Yeah. We have what they need, you know? And when you're in the grocery store or when you're uh, at Skateland or wherever, you know, and the Holy Spirit will highlight people to you. That's what he does, right? He doesn't show you a whole, like, you know, uh, visual of, okay, this is what you're going to do and, and tells you everything you're going to say. Sometimes he does tell you what yeah. to say, you know, uh, beforehand. But we walk by faith. He highlights someone wherever we're at because we have what they need. So we need to be obedient to that. Step out, open your mouth, and let him fill your mouth. Amen, amen. By faith, we believe it. It says it in his word that he will fill your mouth. He will. Yes, yes. Because it's not what we can come up with to say, you know, and be all eloquent and everything. It's him. So let's be obedient to the promptings this week when we're out and about, when we're in the grocery store, when we're getting coffee, you know, at Revive, <laughs> or wherever we're at, you know, we all have somewhere to be. So we, we have what the world needs. We have what Bremerton needs. We have what Kitsap County needs. And it doesn't have to be hard. It's so simple. And we know this. The Lord will highlight people. And if you think that he's not, ask him to. That's right. Ask him to. Yeah. It's, you know, you don't have to be afraid. Say, Lord, I, you don't have to be afraid of what anybody thinks because, you know, we're dead. You can't, you, a dead man can't be afraid, <laughs> right? We die to ourselves. It's not about us, right? Amen. This life is not about us. It's about him. Amen. So we have what they need. You know, let's, let's deliver that to them. Amen. The simple gospel yeah. this week. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah.